Welcome back Jebel Ali. In this tutorial we're going to check if our question is right or wrong. Okay, so if you remember we've created an image, we've got a question, we've got four possible answers. We've got a cell where the person types in the number depending on their answer. So it could be a one, two, three or four. Now we are concentrating on this cell here. Can you see I've clicked not the next cell, the second cell below where my answer is typed in. So I'm clicked in there and you can see it's highlighted in blue. So leave it highlighted in blue. We're going to go up to here. Just let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Zoom in a little bit. So I'm clicking in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is type equals. And you can see it automatically appears down here. So I've typed in equals here and then I... F. And you can see it gives you a list of, these are actually called functions or formulas. Now we're going to choose the very, very first one. So I click on the if here, capital if, and it will automatically give me a bracket. Okay, so it says if bracket, and then we're going to click on the cell where we want the answer to type. So I'm going to go back down here, and I'm clicking on B19. So I click on there. And you see that it highlights it in dotted lines. You could, if you wanted, have just type B19 in there like this, B19. And again, it automatically selects that cell. So we're checking for the correct answer. So we're looking for equals. Now equals is on the same row as your numbers. To the right, just past your zero. So we type in equals. And then we're looking for the number to match the correct answer. So our correct answer in this case is number three. So I'll type in three. So we're saying if B19 equals three, we want it to say correct. So the first thing you need to do is add a comma. Now comma is on the bottom row of your keyboard next to your M. And there's your comma. And then we want a speech marks because it's text, it's saying something. So speech marks is you hold down the shift, so that's the arrow pointing up. It's usually on the left-hand side of your keyboard, the shift key. Hold the shift key down and press the number two. And that should give you a key, a speech marks. If it doesn't, it might give you an app symbol like that. So you need to find your speech marks. Mine is where my at symbol is. So it's the opposite way around. So I put my speech marks and then we want to say the word correct. And then we need another speech mark. So shift and your speech marks. So that's the word that will be displayed if we get the correct answer. If we get it wrong, if it's not a three, it's either a one, two or a four, we want it to say wrong. Now, before we type the word wrong, we need another comma. So again, next to your M is the comma and then another speech marks because we're saying another word. So speech marks and wrong. Now, importantly, you need to close the speech marks. So hold shift down again, press your speech marks. And then finally, the very, very last thing you need to do is close your brackets. Now, brackets is shift and zero, and that will close your brackets. And then once you finish, you press enter. And it will automatically say wrong. Don't worry about the red behind there. That's something you'll look at later. So it's automatically saying wrong because I haven't put an answer in. I haven't put the correct answer in. I haven't put any answer in. So if I do put the correct answer in, which is number three, and then I press answer, you can see it says correct. Don't worry about the green. Again, we'll look at that later. Now, if I type the wrong answer, which is two, it will say one. It will say wrong even. Can you see how that works? So let's look at, if you want to look at your if statement again, you click in the cell where you typed it and you'll see it appear here. So it's saying equals if B19 equals three. So if there's a number three in there, it will say it correct. If not, if it's any other, anything else but a three, it will say the wrong word wrong. And that is how you add a if statement to check if your answer is correct or wrong. Try it and see how you get on. Okay, take care and see you soon.